Hello and welcome to my channel Exploring India with Saurav and today in this video we'll be showing you the launch of PSLV C57 Aditya L1 mission from the Indian Space Research Organization's YouTube channel Abstracted Here you can view the magnificent takeoff of the PSLV C57 Aditya L1. Magnificent lift off of PSLV C57. PSLV C57 is the 59th flight of PSLV and 25th mission using PSLV XL configuration. As you can see, it is being launched from the Satish Dhawan Space Center at Sri Harikota. Aditya L1 spacecraft is a highly eccentric earthbound orbit. The spacecraft will perform orbital maneuvers by using its LAM to reach Sun Earth Lagrange point L1. 1.5 million kilometers from earth in a halo orbit indian space research organization ventures into the study of solar activities and its effect on space weather the scientific objectives of aditya l1 mission includes study of coronal heating solar wind acceleration coronal mass ejections cme dynamics of solar atmosphere and temperature anisotropy. The spacecraft carries seven scientific payloads for systematic study of the sun. All payloads are indigenously developed in collaboration with various Indian space research organization centers and scientific institutes. Aditya L1 is the first space-based observatory class Indian solar mission to study the sun. The spacecraft is planned to be placed in a halo orbit around the Lagrangian point 1 L1 of the Sun Earth system, which is about 1.5 million km from the Earth. A satellite based in the halo orbit around the L1 point has the major advantage of continuously viewing the Sun without any occultation eclipse. This will provide a greater advantage of observing the solar activities continuously. The spacecraft carries seven payloads to observe the photosphere, chromosphere and the outermost layers of the Sun, the corona using the electromagnetic and particle detectors. Using the special advantage of L1, the four payloads directly view the sun and the remaining three payloads carry out in situ study of particles and fields at the Lagrange point L1. The suit of Aditya L1 payloads are expected to provide most crucial information to understand the problems of coronal heating, coronal mass ejection, pre-flare and flare activities and their characteristics dynamics of space weather study of propagation of particles and fields in the interplanetary medium etc aditya alone mission the first observatory class space based solar mission from india major science objectives understanding the coronal heating and solar wind acceleration understanding initiation of coronal mass ejection flares and near earth space weather to understand solar wind distribution and temperature and isotropy uniqueness of the mission first time specially resolved solar disk in the near uv band cme dynamics close to the solar disk from 1.05 solar radius and thereby providing information in the acceleration regime of cme which is not observed consistently onboard intelligence to detect cmes and solar flares for optimized observations and data volume directional and energy anisotropy of solar wind using multi-direction observations. Now the question is, is Aditya L1 a complete mission to study the sun? The obvious answer is a no, which is not only true for Aditya L1, but for, in general, for any space mission. The reason is that due to the limited mass, power and volume of the spacecraft that carries the scientific payloads in space, only a limited set of instruments with limited capacity can be sent on board the spacecraft. In case of Aditya L1, all the measurements will be made from the Langrange point L1. As an example, the various phenomena of the sun are multi-directional and therefore the directional distribution of energy of explosive eruptive phenomena will not be possible to study with Aditya L1 alone. Another Lagrange point known as L5 is a good vantage point for studying the Earth directed CME events and accessing the space weather. 
also the polar regions of the sun are not well studied due to technological cha challenges of achieving spacecraft orbits for such studies the sun polar dynamics and magnetic fields are believed to play important role in deriving the solar cycles further the polarization measurements of solar radiations at different wavelengths are required to understand the various processes occurring in and around the sun so hope you have enjoyed the video much and for this type of interesting videos please subscribe to my channel exploring india with saurabh keep exploring